Now, Ghana continues to be an easy destination for contaminated or toxic fuel containing high levels of sulfur above the approved standard of 50 parts per million. An estimated 1.6 billion CDs is lost annually through contaminated fuel as the downstream petroleum sector. Currently, there are three different diesel on the Ghanaian market. The country's standard is 50 parts per million of sulfur or 50 ppm by local refineries. However, TOR is capable of processing 1,500 ppm as the refinery will need to procure a desulfurizer at a minimum cost of $150 million to enable it meet the standard. The bulk oil distribution companies import 10 ppm, which is better than the country's standard of 50 ppm, and it has the diesel smell. This contaminated diesel from Nigeria is referred to as La Casella. Here in Ghana, it is called Habor or Black Load. Our investigations have revealed that it is not refined. It has a strong and pleasant smell of a combination of turpentine and glue. On Wednesday, November 27, an oil marketing company refused to take delivery of this black load from a supplier. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amua, expects government to employ more hands for Ghana Standards Authority and National Petroleum Authority to enforce the law. You have about 4,000 fuel stations in Ghana. However, the staff strength of Ghana Standards Authority is less than 400, and its field officers are less than 50. He wants the dispensing mechanism at the pumps to be improved to help consumers know what is delivered to them. We shouldn't wait for a week to go to the station, by which time he would have sold that product off and then taken the new stock, which may not reflect what it had earlier. So response time is important for us at this point. We would want to suggest to authorities to ensure that the hose, the hose attached to the nozzle from the pump machine, uh, if there's a way we can get a transparent one so that at least consumers can also have a way of telling what is, I mean, moving from the pump into their vehicles. An electrical engineer and a petroleum industry watcher DeGraft Johnson gave a solution to curtail the menace. Transparent pool is, is possible for the dispensing of the product you, you are calling about. But you can, in the plastic, you can only see the flow. If it's dirty, maybe when it's only when your eyes is clever to see it. You know. But you must use a sensor. A sensor, a flow sensor within the tube that will tell a board that this product is not that particular thing or that particular thing. That's what uh, I, I'm sure the sensor will be the answer.